हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस क्लास इन द एक्सरसाइज डिस्कशन ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट बुक साइंस वॉयज चैप्टर फ्रिक्शन सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी फर्स्ट द ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चंस टिक द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर ए वन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर फ्रिक्शन स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इट अपोजेज द फ्रिक्शन ऑफ मोशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट सेकेंड इट इज अ कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स थर्ड अ स्मूथ सर्फेस कॉजेज मोर फ्रिक्शन एंड द फोर्थ ऑप्शन गिवेन इज वी आर एबल टू वॉक बिकॉज ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सो स्टूडेंट्स आउट ऑफ दीज फोर विच इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर नॉट ट्रू फॉर फ्रिक्शन नॉट ट्रू सो वन सी इट इज अ स्मूथ सर्फेस causes more friction this is not true for uh, friction so the correct option is 1 c smooth surface causes more friction as we have studied that uh, roughness causes friction and the rough surfaces cause more friction so 1 c is the correct now 2 which of the following is used to reduce friction first option ball bearing used to reduce friction oil also used to reduce friction third option grease it is also used to reduce friction so the option d is correct all of the above now see the question number 3 if force is applied from right side friction will act on the so students uh, we have studied that friction acts opposite to the applied force so the correct option is a that is left side friction will act in the left side now see question number 4 which of the following is a disadvantage of friction students the first option given it causes wear and tear of surfaces energy is not wasted due to friction second option is wrong the first wear and tear it is correct and uh, option c friction produces sound this is also correct friction produces unnecessary sound which is a disadvantage of friction so for for question number 4 d d is the correct option which consists both a and c both a and c are the disadvantages of friction now see the question number 5 which of the following is not an example of friction car moving on road it uh, it experiences friction the car experiences friction when uh, moves on the road second writing on a paper this is also with the help of friction we write with pen or pencil due to friction between point of pen or pencil and paper now c option c flying in a aeroplane so students flying in a aeroplane if uh, we are inside the aeroplane so directly there is no involvement of friction but still the aeroplane experiences air resistance that is a friction due to air and the option d hammering a nail nail can be hammered into a surface and it is stuck with the surface only due to friction so students question number 5 has all the options as uh, appears to be right but in my opinion 5c is the correct according to the question and according to your book the 5c is correct flying an aeroplane flying in an aeroplane if we are in an aeroplane inside the aeroplane then we directly do not face friction or air resistance so 5c in my opinion is the correct option but still the question is filled with confusion now see the next b state whether the following statements are true or false also correct the incorrect statement so these statements first of all you have to decide that whether these are true or false and if it is false then correct it see the one friction has no disadvantages students this a statement is false friction has some disadvantages so in place of no you have to write some or you can write many disadvantages 
नाउ सी द टू स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन एक्ट ऑन अ बॉडी इन मोशन स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन स्टैटिक मीन्स एट रेस्ट सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ऑल्सो फॉल्स एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ मोशन यू हैव टू राइट द रेस्ट स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन एक्ट ऑन अ बॉडी एट रेस्ट नाउ सी द थर्ड लिब्रिकेंट्स आर यूज टू रिड्यूस फ्रिक्शन ये दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू एंड देर इज नो नीड ऑफ करेक्शन नाउ सी द नेक्स्ट फोर Friction makes it possible for us to write. Yes, friction is helpful uh, in writing, so this statement is also correct, and there is no need of correction. Now, five. No external force is required for friction to occur. Students, this uh, question is again faulty, but according to your book, as it is written clearly in the chapter. that uh, friction only occurs when there is a occurrence of external force so you have to write an a n n in place of no that is an external force is required for friction to occur an external force is required for friction to occur now see the question number 6 the last of this section static friction is less than sliding friction so student this is a statement is false because we have studied that when body starts sliding its uh, friction decreases a little slightly decreases so sliding friction is less than static friction you have to write more in place of less that is you can write static friction is more than sliding friction static friction is slightly more than sliding friction so you will write more in place of less so students it was the discussion of objective type questions of this chapter in next class we will discuss further for the exercise questions till then good